Welcome back to another Tabletop Review. Today we'll look at the Walter PPKS-22 Long Rifle Semi-Automatic Pistol. This 22 caliber version of the classic handgun, often associated with the 007 spy film, certainly looks cool and can be fun to shoot, but it can also be more than just a novelty as we'll see. I've always liked the size and the feel of the Walther PPK. I have a PPKS-380 that was one of my early concealed carry pistols, but the cost of ammo caused me to hesitate to take it to the range as often as I should have practiced. I just purchased a box of 380 ammo on sale last week at about 30 cents each, and at the same time I bought a box of 22 long rifle at just under 4 cents each. I even picked up a box of my favorite CCI mini mags that were on sale for only 7 cents each. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that I like 22s and I appreciate the savings that you can get from training with a good 22. But there was one more attraction that this particular pistol had for me. Its threaded barrel makes it suppressor ready. Okay, I'll admit it, the Walter BBK with the silencer has got to be the ultimate 007 spy gun. And here it is. Yep, I know. Bond carries a PPK, and this is a PPKS, but it's close enough. In black finish, and for just a little over $300, this gun was just too cool to pass up. Let's make sure this gun is cleared. I've covered the history of the Walther Company of Germany in my previous video on the Walther PPKS 380. So I won't go back into that here except to say that the Walther has manufactured firearms and air guns for more than 100 years. This gun was made in Germany in the U and distributed by the Walther Arms Company located in Fort Smith, Arkansas, a subsidiary of the PW Group of Arnsburg, Germany. Walther PP or police pistols like this have been in production since 1929. The K in PPK refers to criminal, or in English, detective model. Compared to the PP, the PPK is shorter in the slide in the barrel, and the grip frame is also shorter. Some people think the K stands for Kurtz, or short, in German. Whatever, the PPK is indeed slightly more compact. As for the S, Walter developed the PPK-S in the late 1960s to comply with the U.S. Gun Control Act of 1968. The PPK failed the import point test by a single point. Walther addressed this situation by combining the PP's frame with the PPK's barrel and slide to create a pistol that weighed slightly more than the PPK. The additional ounce or two of weight of the PPK-S or sporting model compared to the PPK was sufficient to provide the extra needed import points. There's been a trend over the past decade with gun manufacturers to offer 22 8 caliber exact duplicates of larger caliber guns. I've covered one of the, those in my previous videos, a Beretta M9 in 22. Another example is the Smith & Wesson M&P Compact in 22 version. The idea is to allow users to become completely familiarized with the firearms handling and operations at a significantly reduced ammunition cost. Except for the lighter recoil, everything else remains the same. A 22 is also an excellent option for introducing a novice to the sport. The addition of the threaded barrel for attaching a suppressor to reduce the noise as well just adds even more benefit to the experience. In 2013, Walther Arms Company followed suit with the introduction of the Walther PPKS chambered in 22 long rifle, and I think it's an excellent example of this effort. Well, how does the 22 and the 380 Walthers compare? Let's just take a look at the 380 Walther PPKS and now the 22. And as you can see, they're really very, very similar. Uh, this has the uh, Walther PPKS 380 has a Crimson Trace grip system on it, so it does make it a little thicker and uh, it looks a little bit different because of that. But otherwise, the dimensions are fairly identical. As for packaging, 
My PPK S22 came in a nice carrying case. We have the lock, owner's manual, some additional paperwork. Had uh, adjustment tools here for the uh, sight. Had replacement front sights, uh, once a uh, shorter one, a little taller. Have a knockout pin here, and then we have the tool for removing the uh, threaded barrel um, uh, sleeve protector. Uh, I purchased an adapter for the attachment of the suppressor. So let's take a look at the specifications of the Walther PPK S22. Now pay attention, 007. For background, as you may know, the original PPKs were 32 caliber pistols. Today's Walther PPK S is chambered in 380 ACP, and in 2013, Walther came out with the 22 long rifle version like this one. It's metal construction. Fit and finish are excellent. It comes in silver or black finish. The PPK is a blowback design. The barrel length is 3.3 inches, overall length is 6.1 inches, overall height is 4.9 inches, width is about an inch, weight is 23 ounces, it has checkered grips, smooth back strap. The double action first shot pull is outrageous at 17 and a half pounds. It takes practice to hold it on target with that first shot. The single action trigger pull is very good, very light, smooth and crisp, maybe six pounds, maybe less, which helps the Walter PPK's as a reputation for accuracy. Reset is short and defined, very, very short. Uh, it's actually better than my 380's trigger. It has an easy to reach side mounted safety and decocker. The safety action is nice and solid. Pressing the, the decocker down safety lowers the cocked hammer, and if left down, this, the lever operates as a safety. Sights are plain and black, but dovetailed. Two replacement front sights. The rear sight can be adjusted for windage, and the tool is provided to do that. As a machine top to reduce glare, mag release is checkered. The magazine is 10 rounds and of very, very good quality. Uh, finger extension on the magazine. It lacks the 380's loaded chamber indicator, but there is a uh, indicator here on the side for 22. It locks open after the last round has been uh, fired. Uh, no slide release like on the 380. You have to drop the magazine to release the slide. It's a little heavy, like I said, uh, 23 ounces. Uh, it's very close to the weight of the uh, 380 version. Feels good in the hand overall. It's really a surprisingly good little shooter. As for cons, it came with only one magazine. Uh, I was able to purchase another magazine, a second uh, replacement for about $27. Uh, the magazines do not have a, uh, an assist for loading. Uh, it comes with, of course, uh, the threaded barrel. Uh, but there uh, is no adapter. Uh, that's pretty standard, I assume. But uh, the Calibers Firearms provided one at $35. If you have meaty hands, the PPK has a reputation for slide biting of the hand. Sights are okay, uh, but they are not similar to the 380s. Uh, the 380 has a two-dot system. Uh, that would have been nice on, uh, on, this, on this gun. Double action trigger pull of about 18 pounds is just downright horrible. As for pros, well, there's Walther's legendary lifetime guarantee. And also, this particular gun, at least in my case, seemed to have absolutely no problems right out of the box with even the cheapest ammo. Rear sights are adjustable for windage, and the tool is provided for that. Extra sights provided for the front. Uh, the uh, obtaining of a target actually is okay with these sights. That is extremely accurate. Short, crisp, light, single action trigger contributes to this gun's excellent accuracy. And it is indeed an accurate little shooter. The suppressor readiness just puts this gun over the top. 
and they provide the wrench to remove the threaded protector. It's easy to quick draw, just about an ideal size. With the CCI Mini Mags, you can feel the shot, so you feel like you're really shooting a real gun, but the weight of the gun cushions the recoil, so it's still very comfortable. Elegant, classic design, which has stood the test of time like very few others. Breakdown of the Walter PPK S22 is identical to the 380 model. We need to drop down the uh, trigger guard. In this case, this trigger guard does not stay up against the frame like in, uh, in some versions. So we just need to remove the magazine, safety off, pull that trigger guard down, rack back the slide. It just removes the, the slide like that, and then the spring comes off, and that's pretty much it. We can return for reassembly the spring, and there is a little extension on that spring right there that needs to fit into a little hole down there. That's the only real difference. And the slide just goes back on, trigger guard down. It's got to be one of the simplest 22s to break down. For cleaning purposes, probably beats all of the 22s I have. The suggested retail price for the Walter PPK 22 is $449 in black, $469 in silver. Typical is about $350 to $375 from what I've seen. On sale, I've seen them as low as $260. I even saw one $229, but it's really interesting how those are always out of stock and not available. I paid $329. I've not seen really any of these used for sale. To summarize, not long ago, 380 ammo wasn't just expensive, it was hard to find. That meant that I didn't practice with my Walther as much as I should have, even though it was the gun that I frequently carried. Fortunately, 380 ammo is more available today and more affordable, although it still isn't cheap. And availability could change again, so it's good to have an alternative that I wouldn't hesitate to take to the range more frequently. And the suppressor ready barrel means I'm probably even more likely to take it to the range. It's just too cool not to. The Walter Lifetime Guarantee is outstanding. The Walter Responsive Service is excellent. At almost 90 years, the PPK remains a popular historical firearm. In staying power, it ranks up there with the 1911 and the 44 Magnum Smith & Wesson Model 29. How many other handguns can you say the same about? The Walter PPK S22 is a classic, handsome, practical, reliable pistol. And once again, as a 22, you can have a ball at the range without breaking the bank. In my opinion, with the addition of a suppressor, it can be even more enjoyable. Any weapon you carry is better than the one you left at home. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll be back for my next tabletop review. Until next time, stay safe.